Hey, I'm live, finally. Third time's the charm. <clears throat> Hi, this is Kathy with Craft with Kathy. Thanks for joining me this evening. Had a bit of an issue getting the live started and um, one time I was, I was ready to go and ready to click start and it says my session had timed out. I'm like, excuse me, I've only been on three minutes. Oh, such fun. Anyway, thanks for joining me this evening. I surely do appreciate it. I'm coming at you live from the suburbs west of Chicago. Drop me a line in the comments. Let me know where you're viewing from. Got a quick little project for this evening. And um, this joy to you and me is yesterday's project. And I had just fluffed up my little messy bow a little bit here and range things a little bit differently <clears throat> easy to do easy to change out and i absolutely love it because when the holiday season's over all i have to do is spritz this with water wipe it up with a paper towel i'll remove the chalk paste and then i have my little messy bow attached with um big glue dots on the back of the frame so reusable no problem i don't have to put it away and store it all i have to do is wipe off the paste and give it another design and a different kind of embellishment or not depending upon what i'm feeling like and i'm good to go so very easy and economical let me get this out of the way and show you what tonight's project's going to be i'm taking a little bit of a step backward and i'm going to be using October's Club Couture transfer on the project tonight with good reason. This transfer has been so flexible and so easy to use and I've had so many different ideas for things that I wanted to put it on that I just haven't accomplished anything yet. So I thought good time to do it tonight with the thought of gratefulness in mind. I know people sometimes select what is their favorite season that's really tough for me. I can't really pick a favorite season one over the other. I mean, I like them all, and there's reasons that I do and don't like certain things. I don't like walking in the snow and the ice, but I don't mind shoveling, and I love how pretty snow looks when it's nice and fresh and clean, and I love watching it fall. I love fall, and, and part of the reason I love fall is because it's a season of gratefulness. Thanksgiving gives us time to pause and think about what we're grateful for, and I think that's a good idea. Um, so I want to kind of carry out with their theme because I am making this for, for this month, for November, even though it's October's transfer. I'm going to do a little piece of home decor suitable for the Thanksgiving holiday, or really for part of my autumn decor. Let me just grab a sip of water here. <clears throat> so that's what's on the agenda for tonight. <clears throat> this is a found surface. It's a cute little wooden box that I realized has um, some paper decoupage to it. And when I realized this, I mean, I well, I don't know what I was thinking initially. I bought it online. But it's rough. The surface is rough, and it had it on both sides. So I sanded it and distressed it and made it nice and smooth. I didn't want that bumpy, rough thing um, surface for my transfer. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I had to actually sand the sides a little bit, too, because whatever spray sealer or whatever they had used on it was uneven. So real easy to do, and it's fine with this brushing, and I'm just going to use my little... Um, sponge sander and kind of go in little circles and smooth this out so that I have a nice soft smooth surface and yes it's paper and yes I can chalk on paper. Couple precautions you want your transfer to be um, pretty well fuzzed and you most likely want to wax, wax it. I'm going to just dampen a piece of paper towel and remove any of that gritty sealer or whatever that was on it before I start. I 
And the Distress look wor works well for what I'm going with, so I'm not really... Gee, I almost wonder if they had some kind of weird varnish or something on there. I did already see on the sides because they were kind of rough too. But whatever. Hey, it was on sale. <laughs> what could I say? Kind of hard sometimes online if you're not familiar with the product. So anyway, um, get my little sander out of here. And um, let me wipe off my surface here. I didn't think about that. I might have some dust there. So I think this is another way that this transfer can be used. Remember, our transfers are reusable, 8 to 12 times or more. And this transfer has already been used quite a bit. But I'm going to use it again. And I think after this, I have one other project up my sleeve yet for it that I haven't done. But it's just a beautiful transfer, and um, it brings joy to my heart. <laughs> And reminds me to be grateful. So, um, let me grab my wax because I want to wax the paper a little bit. And the wood, of course. Oops. I'm going to use our surface wax. Our surface wax is nice. It has absolutely no fragrance. And sometimes I use a little sponge to wax. It looks like I didn't put it out here, so let me just grab a paper towel. It'll be fine. You just rub the wax in and then rub it right off. Easy peasy. You don't let it have to dry or anything. And I know I have an area of the paper lifting here. I will glue that down when I'm done with the project. So rub it in. Rub it off. You still end up with a thin film, which is what we want. And there's two reasons we do that. First reason is we want to protect our transfer from pulling anything up. We don't want to pull any paper up on the back of it because our transfers are adhesive backed and we want to keep that adhesive back nice and clean without anything sticking to it. And we also want to put a little bit of a barrier whenever we're using wood so that our paste isn't absorbed so quickly um, that it basically gives us a little bit of time in case we make a mistake to fix it before the wood actually soaks up the pigment. So waxing on wood or paper, twofold. So rub the wax in and then just rub it off. And that's pretty much it for waxing. Let me cover up my wax. Before I begin, I'm going to use a fuzzing cloth, and because I'm fuzzing on, and because I'm chalking on paper, I want to fuzz this well. Our fuzzing cloth, one side is teary cloth, and one side is microfiber. We fuzz to deliberately apply lint to the back of the transfer using the teary cloth side. Our transfers are made of vinyl, which is the teal and silk screen, and you're seeing through the silk screen here to the backer or the carrier sheet. I'm going to pull that off the backer. And yes, this transfer does have some staining from some gold shimmer and some other colors that I've used on it. It does not impact the usability at all. It just doesn't look as pristine and pretty as it did when it was brand new. So, my word grateful is kind of tall lettering here, and I'm going to have to be careful that I get it positioned here so that I get all of the letters. So I'm going to be careful with lining this up. 
and I'm going to just eyeball it from left to right, kind of check that and make sure. Oops, I need to move it up a little bit. Mm, I thought it would fit. Now I'm starting to wonder a little bit. There we go. On the top of my letters. Oops. I might have to actually forfeit the top of my letters just a teeny bit to get it to fit. Okay, I'm going to smooth it down. I knew the bottom of the R would be lost, but that's fine. And I'm going to use our shimmer paste to put the word grateful on here. And I have some spruce, shimmer spruce, that is a nice, pretty, deep color, nice shimmer. Not quite um, like um, glitter, but it does have a shimmer to it, and it doesn't have the mess of glitter. So I'm applying some paste to my um, squeegee, and then I'm just going to, whoops, I didn't want to get the border, and I just did, so I'm going to have to wipe that off. I just want to actually get the lettering here as best I could. Grab a little bit more chalk paste. I'm applying it, pushing it through the silk screen onto the surface below. Now I want to be careful on this edge. I don't want to get the border like I did, but I do want to get my L here fully. And change direction here to smooth it out. Remove any excess. And that means return that to the jar. I'm working doing the live right now. Can I help you with something? Blue. Blue? blue? What about blue? You want me to go down here? Yeah. Can you can you go in the living room, sweetie? Hello? Yeah, can you go in the you living room? Change a different color. Oh, you want me to change put the TV on for you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll be in there in a minute. Okay, let me lift this transfer up. I'm gonna lift it up slowly to see how it's turned out. Okay, and I did go off the edge a tiny bit over here. And let me take a damp paper towel to clean that up before it dries. One of the benefits of waxing there on paper or on wood is you have a little bit of leeway to clean up any mistake. I just have a teeny bit of green here. Look at the green I've got on my finger. I need to really clean that up, don't I? I have a little smudge down here. Because our transfers are made of silk screen, though, we get a nice, beautiful, finished result. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. Clean off my fingers a moment. And then I'm going to do um, a chalk part of the design on one, the edge of the box. In, I'm thinking actually in maybe a copper. Let me set this aside for a moment. And um, mom just got up. She was taking a little nap and she wants the TV on, which let me just check. <laughs> I'll be right back. I wasn't thinking I need to use the, my phone as the remote to turn on the TV. Haha, <laughs> that's not going to happen, um, being that I'm using it as the camera right now. Okay, I'm going to take this transfer 
And I'm going to take these little wheat berries or this wheat shaft or whatever it actually it is of the design. And I'm going to add this to the side here. I'm going to try and keep my fingers off of the green. That I have. And I know I'm going to be losing part of that design. But let me get a better look at it. And see exactly how I want to align it. And I'm just going to smooth it down. And then I'm going to grab a squeegee. I'm going to move this part of the sweet berry or whatever there. But I think I'm going to do it in the copper. I think the copper is so pretty and perfect for the fall season. So I'm going to use a clean squeegee. Grab some copper paste and basically just chalk over my design. And this I'm only going to get part of it because part of it's being cut off, but that's fine. I'm just, just scraping the paste across till I get to the border. I don't want to catch the border. So I'm going the other direction there to bypass it. And then I want to get this other little berry. Let me grab a little bit more paste and get in there to get this. And I can go right up here to the corner. I think that'll work fine. Smoothing it out, removing any excess paste. Make sure, sure, making sure I've got good coverage here. Then I'm going to return it back to the jar and lift it up slowly and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, I think that'll look nice. Now this is going to take a few minutes to dry. Our shimmer paste does take a little bit longer to dry than our regular chalk paste. Just the nature of what it's made of. But I need to, I could, I might be able to get by with putting this, using it on the other side without cleaning it. But I really don't want to get the paste all over my hands or my little wooden box. So I'm going to cover up my paste and clean this at my table. Generally, the best way to clean it is to run it over to the sink and rinse it underneath some water. Use a little board eraser to get the paste off the top. But I'm going to do it right here at my table so that you can see how easy it is Oops. to clean your transfer. Using a board eraser actually helps with um, helps eliminate the staining from the higher, highly pigmented paste that we have, like our black and our um, candy apple red are very highly pigmented and have a tendency to stain the top of the transfer, but that in no way impacts its usability. Whoops, that may have to be a little bit more careful there. Whoops. You don't want the transfer to get stuck to itself because remember it's adhesive backed. If it does, take it over to the sink and with cool water, let the cool water run over the area that's stuck together and then you could gently nudge it apart with your fingers. Don't really pull or tug because you don't want to stretch the, um, the silk screen. Now, if obviously if I got stuck together here like this, I wouldn't worry about it because it's on the vinyl and it's not going to make a difference but I don't want to stretch or distort my silk screen, which is why we always lift from the top, the bottom, the left, or the right. We never pull or tug on the corners because that would be like pulling fabric on the bias and you can inadvertently stretch it. So I'm just using a disinfecting wipe and going over and cleaning this. If you don't like using disinfectant wipes, just do it with a board eraser. It works very, very well. Um, and obviously much better if you're underwater than sitting on a, at a table like this. So I'm going to flip this over and clean the adhesive side. 
get all the chalk paste out of the silk screen and obviously you want the chalk paste off of the the vinyl also boy did I get paste all over my fingers okay so once you get all the paste out of the vinyl I'm mean, not out of the vinyl off of the silk screen out of the silk screen then you want to go back over your transfer and I usually go in one direction with my little wipe like this to um, remove the fuzz from the fuzzing cloth. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you could use your shirt or a towel or a pair of jeans, anything that would apply a little bit of lint to intentionally diminish the adhesive. You do that because you don't want your, your transfer to stick so snugly that you can't lift it up. Most likely not an issue on wood, but on um, glass or metal or mirror or windows, well, obviously glass, right? Your transfer is going to stick very snugly because it's a non-porous flat surface, so you're going to get a nice adhesion, and that's why you want to diminish it because the longer it sits and the smoother the surface, the more attached it becomes. Now I'm going to speed dry this on a fuzzing cloth. I'm going to use the opposite side. Remember I used the teary side before. Now I'm going to use the microfiber side. But microfiber is really good for cleaning our chalkboards, by the way. I'm going to put this transfer sticky side up on the microfiber, fold it over, and gently squeeze out any of the moisture. This helps speed up the drying, and it actually renews the adhesive somewhat. See, it's already sticking. So let me move this over to the side and let it dry for a moment before we can use it again. You always want to let your transfers dry sticky side up. Hi Terry, I'm fine. How are you? So this is almost dry. You can see the shimmers isn't quite there. Our paste goes on liquid but will dry to a hard in general matte finish except for the shimmers they dry with a shinier finish and the greens almost there's a couple little areas that are still wet the shimmer takes a little bit longer to dry we have a drying tool that looks like a heat tool or like a heat gun used for um embossing in paper crafting but it is not as hot. It's just really a concentrated area of air coming out. You could use a hair dryer if you want to just kind of speed that up and dry it. But I'm not going to touch either side with what I have to do next. So um, I'm just going to let it dry on its own. Well, actually, that's kind of a lie. I would have to turn it to put the other transfer on. We'll just let this set for a minute. <clears throat> This is week two of our Black Friday specials. If you have not um, seen them or are not aware of what they are, please check them out. There's some really good deals. I'm going to actually put the link in the comments right now. I should have done that when we started. Our A size transfers. Hi, Deb. How you doing? Our A size transfers are. Um, on sale, 35% off. This link will take you to the main page and then you just click on the black banner that says Black Friday and it will um, bring you to all the things that are on sale under the specials. We have our A size transfers are five by seven inches this transfer happens to be our B size. It's eight and a half by 11. All of our transfers are priced based on size. Um, so all the A transfers are, not all the A transfers, select A transfers are on sale in the, as the Black Friday special that's running all week from Monday till, till this Sunday. Once they're out of stock, they're out of stock. Um, it includes A size transfers and um, a five by seven inch wood pellet board. And also, we've had the return of our mystery bundles. They ran, they went so fast the first week, and then this Monday, 
that um, some people spoke with corporate and said, can't you come back with some mystery bundles? We need 10 times as much as you're offering. Well, Wednesday they came out and made an announcement that they would create some more mystery bundles. They were all size A transfers. Initially, they were retired transfers, previous seasons, transfers, whatever. Well, they relaunched them Wednesday, 4 o'clock Central Time, and they are a mix of previously retired transfers, but still just absolutely adorable, mixed with some current transfers at 35% off. Great deal. So if you're looking to build your collection or to save money or just to add some variety to some things, check that out. Lots of fun there. So I'm going to fuzz this transfer again. It's pretty well dry. Smooth it down, lift it up, add a little bit of lint to it. And then I'm gonna get going on the other two sides. Okay, my shimmer's dry on the edge and my grateful's dry also, so. Make sure my surface is dry here. And put this down and I'm gonna chalk the grateful first. Let me stand up so that I can center this properly. And take it off of my fuzzing cloth. Now remember I am chalking on paper, so I've previously waxed this. I wanna get my letters right up there to the top because it barely, barely fits. Oops, I need to move it a little bit to my right. And I hear mom has gotten tired of waiting for me. Okay, so we're going to be missing a little bit of the letters at the bottom, but that's fine. It'll be pretty obvious what it is. Pretty obvious what it is. And I'm going to use the same colors again. The spruce green for my grateful. Whoa. And then I'll use the copper for my foliage. Got too much on my squeegee there. Go all the way to the bottom here. Get some nice coverage. Grab some more paste. So you can tell this goes pretty quickly even though we've had to wash the transfer in between to use it for the other two sides but still all in all quick easy project scraping off the excess making sure i've got good coverage no lines this is the top of my g there okay got it returning the excess back to my jar and then I'm going to lift this slowly to make sure it looks okay. There we go. Much easier to fix something if it goes south while the transfer is still attached. Because if you missed a piece of silk screen, you can go back and chalk it without having to reposition the transfer. Okay, and now I'm going to go in this direction to get my little wheat berries or whatever of the wheat. And I think I'm going to leave that there, get this one all the way on. There we go. And I'm going to use my copper for this. So let me cover up my spruce, grab the copper. And we're almost done now do you have a couple ideas for what I could use with put in this little basket or this little wooden container what do you think would be appropriate what would you use it for or how would you use it it's wood so I don't know if I'd actually put any food items inside of it. But I was thinking it might be a good idea to put a little collection of maybe some fall foliage. 
and um, maybe some pumpkins. What do you think about that? Grabbing a little bit more paste. I don't want to get my border here. Got paste on the other edge. There we go. When I stuck it in there and grabbed paste, I really grabbed it, didn't I? So I'm just taking the excess, getting it off my squeegee and going over my silk screen. And I think I've got everything pretty well covered here. Removing the excess, and let's peel and reveal. Oh yeah. So now from any angle, you see the design. A hostess back at, oh, Deb, I like that idea. Napkins, you know what? It could be used to hold napkins. It could actually be used to hold um, silverware. I've got another little container, a copper one, that I is divided into three pieces that I did something on, very similar. But you're right, this would be nice for little napkins or whatever else. Good idea. Oh, pomegranates. I haven't had a pomegranate yet this year. I love, I mean, I really love the, so many things about fall, and one of them is pomegranates. When we were kids, well, not really kids, more like teenagers, we were trick-or-treating or we were going trick-or-treating, and I know some people didn't like it because we were older. We weren't that old, but we were probably about 14, 15, 16, whatever. And my cousin was over, and we were going trick-or-treating, and my mom was doing laundry. And um, we had come back. We didn't go for long. And um, mom was doing laundry, and she had a tendency of taking my dad's T-shirts, you know, bringing up the load of white clothes, and then shaking kind of like the T-shirts, just shaking the wrinkles out and setting them over the back of one of the kitchen chairs. And then when she had them all flat and everything out of the laundry basket, she would then fold them on the table before she put them away. <coughs> well, my cousin Tammy and I <laughs> were eating a pomegranate, and we didn't think anything of it until about a half hour later when I heard my mom screaming. <laughs> Whoops. You know, when you're opening up a pomegranate and you hit into those seeds, sometimes they splatter. So, some of the t-shirts were speckled with pomegranate juice. It came out, mom probably used bleach would be my guess, or less oil, take your pick. She's a big fan of less oil. But um, it was like, oops, we had no idea that it was spraying that far. Oops. I'm being a little bit too heavy handed with my board eraser here and it's really not as wet as it should be. Much easier, believe me, in a sink. So I've got most of this off. It's almost acting here like a vacuum when I'm going across it, lifting up my transfer. So let me get a disinfecting wipe, clean off the rest of it, do the back. If you're not a member of Club Couture, let, or you're not aware of Club Couture, or you don't know what it is, let me tell you a little bit about it. It is a monthly subscription kit that brings you an hour of creative bliss every month right to your doorstep. For $19.99, you get one of our B-size transfers. This is a B-size. It's 8.5 by 11 inches. It's exclusive to designers and to club members. It's the only way that you can get this design is by being a club member or a designer. You cannot purchase it from our website or anything. And it comes with three individual paste packets specifically curated to go with the design of the transfer. 
So you don't have to look through the catalog. You don't have to make any big decisions and decide what colors you want to make something in. All you have to do is pick your surface and give yourself an hour or so, well, actually even less in reality, of creativity. No muss, no fuss. Comes right to your door, doorstep. We pay for the shipping. So it's $19.99 plus tax. And it's an easy way of escaping your re re reality, reality, running away, and just letting your creativity soar. Have some fun. We all need that little getaway, getaway, don't we? It's kind of like the old Calgon commercial, Calgon, take me away. Well, take a bath in something creative. Relax. Clear your mind. Have some fun. Make something for you. You could file, it comes with a PDF and also with a video showing you how to complete the project step by step. You can make it in the suggested manner or you can make it however you want. Use the colors supplied or use your own colors. Or don't use the colors in the manner that they do and use them in a different manner. It's all up to you. And once you make it for yourself, I'm removing the lint by the way, once you've used it for, made it for yourself, Make it for a friend. Remember, our transfers are reusable 8 to 12 times. So you could make this project over and over and over again. I'm going to speed dry this using my microfiber side, sticky side up. If you'd like more information about Club Couture, just comment. Club in the um, comments, or actually I'll put a link to the page on the website that tells you all about it. It really is fun. It's an easy, economical way of trying out chalking. Okay, ooh, this is really sticking to me. So here's our little wooden crate, or little wooden box. The green spruce shimmer on the sides over the paper. Both sides. And then the corners or the edge, the insi insides have the shimmer with the image of the foliage. Simple, quick, easy. Less than 40 minutes. Can we ask for anything more? Now this is how I'm planning on using it. Let me show you. Ah, where did I put them? I know I have them out here. Let me just grab them. Oh, I've covered them up with my... sign from yesterday. I have a bunch of pumpkins and maybe I need to put a little bit of paper or something at the bottom, but I just basically, oh, I've got more pumpkins in the other room yet. I just basically want this to have pumpkins spilling out the top along with the rest of my other fall decor. Oops. Whatever. You get the general idea. And then every time I pass it, I see this little reminder to be grateful. Think about how blessed, truly blessed, and incredibly blessed that I have been. Okay, I'm going to show you how to put the backer sheet on um, the transfer once it's dry. Our backer sheet has one side that's glossy, one side that's dull. You always want to put the glossy side against the adhesive. Never try putting your transfer on your backer sheet. It's, it'll stick to your fingers. It'll drive you crazy. So take the glossy side of the carrier, line up one corner, press it down, line up the other corner, press it down, and then just smooth it out. Put it back in its little cellophane envelope and either in a drawer or hang it or in a portfolio or however you actually store um, your transfers. How often do I wash my fuzzing cloth? You know, it varies. I don't like washing them individually. I like to take the whole batch of them, so I'll run through them and wash them. And I know some of the ink that I've got on some of them, they're stained with ink and whatever else. But in general, because I'm always using disinfectant wipes on my transfers and on my surface or whatever, I don't really think of it as like a, a germ pit or anything because usually everything that touches it has already been disinfected. 
so I might do them like every two weeks. It really depends. It depends how depends how messy Kathy gets with things, um, and how much chalk paste they get on them. Generally, the chalk paste will come out because our chalk paste is water soluble. But we also have another product. Um, it's our inks that's permanent, and um, obviously, if I get inks on my fuzzy cloth, well, there, it's there for the duration. Any other questions or anything? What do you think? Isn't this just cute? Quick, simple, on a found surface. Thank you so much for watching this evening. I surely do appreciate it. See you soon.